You stupid motherfuckers. I don't think a show has ever misunderstood its core fan base the way Sleepy Hollow has. And I was already going to do a video on this issue because I thought that what Sleepy Hollow would do was just the usual dumb shittery of having an anticlimactic finale because they haven't had a good one since season one. I thought they would do the usual shit of sidelining Abby, making it somehow about Ichabod and Betsy, no one gives a fuck about her, Ross. I never contemplated for a second that they would kill their main fucking lead. And so I was just kind of coming into it like Sleepy Hollow finale, it'll be whatever, we'll see what happens, que sera sera. So when the motherfuckers came and killed, <sighs> when these motherfuckers came and killed Grace Abigail Mills, I was just sitting there looking at my television like, what the fuck has just happened? What? It was just the most bizarre, deranged thing I have ever seen. And I have just been left with this bitter, bitter taste in my mouth that has only been compounded by previous events and has only just further proven to me that writers, if you cannot write women, if you cannot write women of color, people of color, LGBT people, disabled people, it is time for you to hang up your pens and move aside and let people who can and want to and want to learn to take the positions that you have occupied for a long ass too fucking long time because your days are gone and the audacity of these people to act as though what they have done is inconsequential this motherfucker comes on things saying like we don't think of it as killing abby what the fuck do you mean you don't think of it as killing abby you killed abby do you think that we're dumb? And that's what it is. They think that Abby is expendable. They think that the draw, the reason why people watch the show, is Tom Meissen. And I'm sure there's a small percentage of people who watch the show just for Tom Meissen. Small. But you can get good-looking British motherfuckers on any show. You know, on British shows or any other fucking medium. They are everywhere. Tom Meissen is not going to just be the one draw. People watch the show for Ica B and for Abby Mills because Abby was the extraordinary character on Sleepy Hollow. We have tons of white male protagonists in many genres. Having a black lead actress is for what? This show and Killjoys? And that's it. So people watched this show, people were invested in the show, people were dependent on the show because of Abby, not Ichabod. And so for them to think, and I know in Variety they said that they have plans for a season four and that this death will not affect their renewal. Motherfuckers, please, please, you are gone, you are canceled, you are finished, okay? Not since Twisted has the black fan base been determined to see y'all asses burn because you guys fucked it up for yourselves. You had everything going well in season one. You had a great core cast. What were people praising for? Diversity. Diversity, diversity. The fact that there were like three main black characters and none of them died and that they had all the interesting things to do. That's why people watched your show. And then season two, you just lost your fucking minds and decided, you know what, let's just double down on the white. Double down on the white, on the straight, and just let's go with it. That's not what people wanted. We told you we didn't want Katrina, we told you we didn't want Holly, and what'd you do? You gave us Betsy Ross. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you not know why your show was successful in season one? Why do you think all of this backlash has been happening? And I'm not trying to say that shows need to cater 100% to their fan base. But when you don't understand the core reason why people watched your show and why people were determined to be a part of this show, you should not be running a show. Because the reason why people watched the show was to see a black female protagonist in a sci-fi fantasy genre show. That's why I watched it, that's why tons and tons and tons of people in the community and even outside the community who understood the importance of this watched the show. And so for you to believe, to think that we are still going to stick by you after what you have done, y'all are fucking dumb, y'all are fucking ignorant, and you are going to lose this show. And I'm sorry to Lindsay Greenwood because you are talented, I'm sorry to everyone else who's going to lose money off the show, but they have fucked you over and they're the ones you should be mad at because they misunderstood what made the
the show good. Y'all got rid of Friends. Orlando Jones, who is fabulous and smart and funny because you wanted to go in a different direction than what the show's gonna do. What's wrong with you? We complain about Katrina being an ineffective, poorly conceived character. You fucked her up, you killed her, and then what did you do? You bring up another poorly written, inconsistent female character, and you thought, that's it. You bought Danny to be a love interest to Abby and then not be a love interest until the last five seconds because there was no development for this character the entire fucking time. You bring up Sophie to the last half and you do nothing extraordinary with her, just little, little, little breadcrumbs. You bring Joe Corbin, have a great relationship between him and Jenny. You kill him off for nothing. And we're supposed to be happy about that. We are supposed to congratulate you on fucking up what would have been a really, really good show. I can't. Like, I'm just... It is bizarre to me. And they really believe that Nicole Bahari and Abby are expendable. And that's the only reason why. They believe that the only reason why people were watching the show was him. They believe the show can survive on his back. And you know what? They're wrong. And I want us to prove them wrong because that's what Nicole deserves. And people said, well, Nicole wanted off the show. Of course she wanted off the show. She is billed as the main lead and getting not a fucking storyline to her name. She gets one or two episodes a season to talk about shit that should be developed throughout the entire show. I think about gets to have his romance bullshit, his, his, I'm trying to become a citizen bullshit. Like, nothing constructive is coming out of Ichabod storylines at all, but we have to deal with them all the way constantly. Abby can't get nothing, and we're supposed to be satisfied with that? She, a Juilliard trained actress, is supposed to be satisfied with that? <sighs> Idiots. I want to compare what happened with Abby to what happened with what would be her white counterpart, Buffy, in the fifth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. When they killed off Buffy in the fifth season, it was because they believed the series was going to be cancelled. They didn't have a renewal thing, they weren't sure, so that's why they killed off Buffy. Buffy died saving her sister, having agency in what she did, and she did so with dignity, with respect, and the knowledge that she was the main person. It was a focus on her and who she was. The entire season had been focused on her family and her desires. To have Abby die and say, I was there to carry you or build you up for some kind of stupid ass bullshit. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? This is what happens when you try to write black people and you have not a black person in your in your gallery of friends, associates, because somebody would have told you, you crazy? To have Abby say that her goal, her purpose in life was to uplift a white man? Are you crazy? You have lost your motherfucking mind. You must have. And I just confounding. What happened? What happened in your mind, in your spirit, in your ass to make you think that this was a constructive, well-structured thing to do? Sleepy Hollow has fucked itself over. And you know what? They deserve it because they have ruined the show, they ruined what was good about it, and they deserve to fail. They deserve to fail. And I'm sorry for the actors who will be losing work, but that is because of these writers not knowing what the fuck to do. You're bad at your jobs. You are bad at your jobs, do better. Even at Comic-Con, uh, when I went there at New York Comic-Con, the panel was there. They were unorganized. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. That was part of the panel's fault. But they just said, oh, we have all these ideas for this, this, that, and the third. Where are these ideas? Where are these concepts? Everything you wrote was cliche garbage. There was nothing about the Pandora Hidden One storyline that we had not seen on Supernatural, on Buffy, Charm, Teen Wolf, everything. You had nothing going for you in that regard. What you had was a good cast. And you cut them out. And then you wanted to ruin stuff from Nicole Bahari. You didn't want to give us Ikabi. You wanted to give us all these basic assholes. And I don't know why you felt that we would be happy with that. And let me tell you something too. The dislike of Katrina and Zoe and Betsy Ross is not just because of Ikabi being popular. And maybe I'll think it's for myself, but let me just put this out here. People didn't like Katrina because she was a poorly written character who was inconsistent and had shit powers. People didn't like Zoe because there was nothing there for her to do besides be cute and be charming, and that was it. She had no character, no character arc. She was just there to fill a void. Betsy Ross was a incompetently written character who was supposed to be all cool and badass, but was really there for just titillation and fan service. She had no depth, Nothing really to gain to us. She was just there to fill a void that had been left with by Katrina, but they didn't understand that to make that work was to build us a better character. The same way people didn't like Holly. 
He didn't like Holly because he was a useless character who took away screen time from better characters. People would have enjoyed seeing Ichabod and Abby with different people if you made those characters good. If you made them interesting. I don't mind having Ichabod be with Katrina if Katrina's a badass and she's doing her shit. I mean, that's a part of watching these kind of shows with these slow burns. You doing what you did by making her useless and can't do fucking magic and can't fucking levitate a damn flower is not really a good, strong female character. And y'all are stupid for thinking that this is the way things should go. And I just, I, it's bizarre to me that they don't understand this. I mean, that's the thing I don't understand about The 100, with Laurel, with this. You write for genre television. You write for a niche group. And you don't know the tropes, the, the writing, and, and the history behind those things. How do you write a show with a lesbian character and then kill her in the same way they, they killed Terry and Buffy the Vampire Slayer and not know it? One of the most iconic deaths of a lesbian in that genre and you don't know it and you write in that genre? For you to write a black female lead in a sci-fi show and not realize that she's the only one that exists and not think we should respect that character and do well by her the way we would do with any other white character? Like, why do you have these positions? You don't know what you're doing. And you're ruining things and what you're also doing is just proving to the black people who have stood by the show and defended it and stuck with it even when it was bad, even when it was shitty, even when you were focused on the wrong list, we stuck by it because we believed in Abby and we loved Abby and we were happy to see a brown woman with her curly hair and her beautiful face and her fucking acting and her eyelashes and everything, her face was perfect, on screen doing her shit. And you destroyed that because you don't know what you're doing and you hurt so many people who felt, because the thing about it too, they don't understand is that representation matters. And for us to have that character exist meant so much to us. We spread the word. We said, watch Sleepy Hollow. We love Sleepy Hollow. We get Abby stickers. And you know what? I felt the same way. Despite how, how, how Sleepy Hollow would not all be consistently good, I would watch it. <coughs> I would watch it no matter how bad it got because I wanted to support Nicole Bahari and Abby Mills because she was giving me something that nobody else was giving me until Killjoys with the character of Dutch. And even Dutch, that's, you know, not... That's something different as well. But I was, I believed in Abby and I loved Abby and Abby meant something to me the way that Gwen from Merlin meant something to me, the way that Jodie from Daria meant something to me. And you decided very well that you don't understand what that means to people. And you don't care, because if you cared, you would have done better. And you cannot replace her with, with Jenny or Sophie and Pandora and then that's okay. That's not what we wanted, that's not what we asked for. And you would do better. And anyone say that thing about Nicole, you think that she would just give up money, give up a role, and she felt she was getting her own dues from it. Sleepy Hollow failed. Sleepy Hollow fucked us over, and whatever happens to it, it completely deserves. If it gets renewed, it should just realize that it's not going to get any viewership, because we are done. You already showed how little you care about us, now we're going to show you how little we care about you. It's over.